one uh, Forest Fringe is a is a is a big community of uh, lots of different performance artists, theatre makers in the UK. That we shared lots of things in common. Um, the, the interest in unusual work and trying to make exciting things happen. Well, we wanted to bring over um, uh, a really uh, very varied collection of things that sort of showed all the different kind of unusual projects that people around Forest Fringe make. So it includes dance, it includes pieces for just one audience member at a time, it includes a, 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 a remaking of an old Western film, it includes a piece on headphones in a parked car. So we wanted to create like a really uh, broad variety of different projects. Ah, it's wonderful to be here. Um, everyone here, all of the staff are so generous and friendly and they've made us feel really our home. Um, and the venue is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to, so uh, we're having a really wonderful time. We're performing a piece called A Western, and it's um, a piece for a bar, and we replay scenes from an imaginary Western. And yeah, we kind of, the audience help us to recreate this uh, kind of imaginary Western film um, in the bar. It's always really nice to perform your piece in a different country um, to you know a, an audience from a different country because you never know um, you never know how they're going to react you never know the things that that particular audience will find funny or the kind of responses that they're going to make um, the piece that we're performing um, is very reliant on the audience and it changes every time anyway so it's always really exciting to come and perform in a different kind of place because it it helps you to you understand your piece in a different way for this show, I was interested in how I could make the most direct experience for an audience because I wanted to explore how we look at each other and how, although that's a very simple action, it can be quite complicated um, because there's a real difference between looking at someone and really seeing them. So I, I decided to steal or borrow the, the functions of an eye examination and turn it into a performance. I, I'm having a great time at this fringe. Um, so it's really nice to be here with some artists I know and some artists I don't know. Um, I love this venue, I think it's the most glamorous slaughterhouse I've ever been in. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the piece is called The Nearest Exit and it's about um, aeroplane crashes basically. Um, and it was made on a residency in Japan and I had just been on this very long flight to get to Japan so that's where those ideas, why those ideas were in my head is because I was thinking about um, the, the crazy thing of flying in an aeroplane and the desire we as humans have to go to other places and um, the show is kind of about the idea of the last moments of your life and if you were in an aeroplane crash and what you might do with that time. It's a beautiful space and first of all it's just really exciting to, to see some work that comes from a different, um, a different sort of scene, you know, and I think as an artist that's always deeply fascinating to see how different cultures kind of are embedded in the work that is made and, um, and it's also a really great chance to show the work to a different audience who might have a really different uh, take on it or a different response to it, so yeah, it's really interesting for me.